So today we are going to put together a mini print portfolio and we're doing this for free comic book day next weekend. And I'm going to be tabling at Rick's Comic City here in Nashville. So I am unwrapping one of those cheap photo albums from the Dollar Tree. Here is one that I've already filled out from another time. And this one is my all originals collection. So rather than taking prints out of this big book, I just put separate prints in here. But I want to tailor this more to free comic book day. So that means diving into my print collection and playing mind reader or show reader and trying to guess what people are going to want. Now I want all of the prints to fit in this box and I want it to be stuff that will sell. So I'm going to bring the Pokemon. Bring the succulents probably. Bring this cutie. Some more Pokemon. Maybe bring this mini print of the Sailor Scouts and Tina. Maybe this mermaid, Naruto and Link. Lum and uh, Rose Quartz. And I wanted to have a fair amount of fan art, but I do want it to have some original stuff as well since not everybody wants to buy just fan art but I think that's gonna be about it so I will check in with you guys when I'm ready to start assembling every one of these little clear plastic iris boxes contains at least two styles of mini print for popular stuff it's usually just two so rose quartz and Lum, for example, would be in this box. But some of the boxes that contain originals might have multiple styles. This one I think actually only has two styles. Yeah, this one only has two styles. So I'm actually going to put that away. I think I will also put this one away. Since this is just a one day event, I kind of want to be a little more strategic in what I have room to bring. All right, so I don't think I can narrow it down to just one box, but I can narrow it down to one box with three additional boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. and I'm going to start assembling my little Dollar Tree print book. And it's pretty much just one print per page until we run out of prints. All right, so I've got my lineup of prints as they're gonna go into the book and I have them in the box and hopefully having them in the sort of corresponding order will make it simpler for me to be able to complete transactions in a hurry. And as I go, I'm also selecting prints that would work well in my vertical display, i.e. those Becky Higgins photo holders I showed you guys earlier. And since I like to sell original art as well as fan art, I do also include some of my own original pieces in my prints and in my print example books. Frick, though, to moving original pieces like this is there are people who are only going to want to buy your original stuff, which is great. I want to encourage that. But there are also people who are only going to buy things that they recognize, even if they happen to like the art on other pieces. So I have found that it's best to mix these in throughout the book, even though I keep them all in one container. And that'll keep people flipping and looking throughout the book. With a lot of these mini albums, you can actually slip a photo into the front cover. So I say take advantage of that so that your art is there as well. So the next thing you're going to want to do is label what this little book is. I have here a handy gold marker. This is designed to work on plastics and metals. And it's how I labeled this mini book. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And while I let that dry, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my vertical display, just slipping the photos into it. 
All right, and now we're ready for free comic book day. So I hope you guys found this convention basics tutorial helpful, useful, inspiring. I hope it will inspire you to try some of these things out yourselves. If you're looking for more con help, check out howtobeaconartist.tumblr.com for four years worth of amazing convention and comic artist tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope I see you guys again really soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.